Hi YouTube, here's a bedini that I made, uh, my last uh, little energy video I made there, I showed this, but um, it had neodym neodymiums on it, and I'll turn it off, let it run for a while, I had these little neodymiums on it, um, which are powerful, you know, everyone touts these and when I got these I was really happy to get them, couldn't wait to try them. But every time I've used these neodymiums, um, I've been disappointed. Now I'm going to, the light, I'm going to be using this to test my uh, high impedance coil, to test the delay lens and anyways, I uh, couldn't get the effect with these neodym neodymiums and remembered <laughs> As soon as I didn't get the effect that last time last year I did the exact same thing and so when I put these microwave oven magnets on uh, my or you know tried the high impedance wheel with it um, then I got the effect now I've come to find out um, did some reading and you know I've, I've always known this and you know talked about it with few people but these ferrite magnets um, are more powerful. Now I know obviously they're bigger, and but these these maybe are more powerful um, at a very close distance. And I did some reading on a forum, um, Com Warrior sixty nine um, had actually done tests comparing ferrite magnets in neodymiums. It's totally true. They, uh, these ferrite magnets have a much better magnetic field. But anyways, I wanted to show you my wheel. I got it. I have it still on this um, VCR bearing, and um, now I have these ferrite magnets on. Now I've put I put them on too deep, just like I had with my big wheel, because I want the same effect. <clears throat> Um, as I had last year but um, they make this wheel very heavy well you know for its size this thing is only 16 centimeters diameter and it weighs uh, 1.3 kilograms which is 2.9 pounds so it's very heavy when I didn't have this wheel on it or this coil on it last night I uh, you know, got it hooked up and put together and just gave, gave it a, a little spin like that and uh, had forgotten about it. Uh, went to the bathroom, did a couple things, did something with my dog. I think maybe even let him out. Came back, it was about five minutes later and it was still spinning. <laughs> so this bearing um, works very, very well. Oh flipper on, flipper back on. And I wanted to I wanted to talk about the magnets first of all. And I think that the ferrite magnets are much better. Better for collecting energy anyways. Um, and show, you know, the heavy little wheel and the setup I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be playing with it and I'll be making another vid today later today probably but I wanted to show like I've got it running I've got it turned down it won't go any slower than this really well it will I'll tune it down to about uh, 0 0.025 amps and which is 25 milliamps it's showing 30 milliamps right now anyways that's as low as that's as slow as it'll go I don't really know what the RPM is right now. I don't have a way to check the RPM. But something I really thought was interesting, I, I've never made a Bedini that, like this before in the sense that like this resistor here coming onto the base is uh, 100 ohms, just like Bedini circuit asked for, I believe, or someone's. Um, but this variable resistor right here is a 10K ohm. Um, from an old TV set from the contrast or something like that.
but it's 10k ohm and I haven't checked it I'm gonna right now after I make this vid but um, it has a middle point you know whether this was for balance or whatever but it has a middle point where it can settle into um, now when I put it in that middle point it should be about 5,000 K ohms and that's where it's sitting right now so this Bedini circuit is somewhere running on near 5100 ohms um, on this coil which I thought was really interesting I don't think I've had one running on that many ohms before but anyways um, I can turn it up Somewhere near 100 milliamps. She's picking up speed. Takes just a second because um, of the weight of the wheel. But she gets humming. Now it might look slightly um, off center or not circular, but it is. It just kind of. A, appears that way because of the white disc but all those magnets are equally I weighed them all they're all equally spaced out I have it also uh, weighted the wheel so that it's um, it's balanced balanced very well anyways this is what I'm going to test with just wanted to show you oh we lost had lost a connection there for some reason. Alright, there we go. Anyways, wanted to show you that. I'm going to put my high impedance coil on it. Ed's here, supervising. Kind of tree peeking. <laughs> um, but I'm going to put my high impedance coil on it soon. I'll talk to you later, YouTube.